The wolf is a naturally wild animal found in North America, Europe, Asia, and Northern Africa. They were one of the first species to be domesticated due to their pack mentality, breeding capabilities, and fast growth over 13,000 to 40,000 years ago and led to the dogs we have today. Now wolves, unlike these domesticated dogs beside me, are often seen as threatening and vicious, and this shouldn't really be the case. There have only been two incidences in North America where wolves have ever killed someone, and those were under very peculiar circumstances. These fears come from the early European settlers coming to the country. They saw wolves as cowards and scavengers, pests if you will. And unfortunately, some cultures today still see killing wolves as a rite of passage, as a show of bravery and courage. While others, much like Native Americans, see wolves as loyal, beautiful creatures that are to be worshipped. Seen as almost deities, if you will. <laughs> and luckily, some people today have started to recognise that wolves play a very vital role in the economy and the ecosystem. They are keystone species and are trying to protect these wonderful animals, though the governments aren't exactly agreeing. Unfortunately, we don't really understand why people still fear wolves. It can be due to culture, upbringing, religion. I can't answer any questions as to why people fear them. But what I can tell you is that everyone has a different perspective. And to understand these perspectives, we have to hear from two very significant players in this game. The people that fear wolves and the people that love them. So, why don't we look at the two? So first, let's talk to Mildred, one of our local farmers. Mildred, what do you think about wolves? Wolves? Yeah, nah, not a fan. Not many people are around here though. Yeah. They take way too much from us, our cattle, our land, even our rights. Mm-hmm. I mean, you look at these wolves taking a cattle a day from me. Not much I can do about it either. And I can't let my kids bloody run around free either. Nah, those wolves will kill them straight up. Plus my pets. I've got some bloody good cattle dogs. Can't let them roam free, sniff around, nah. Wolves will kill them for sure. And let's not forget that these f***ers breed like rabbits. Mm-hmm. Could be one now, but five tomorrow. And that's five cattle instead of one then. Yep. And let's look at how much money the bloody government's spending on them too. Yeah. I heard that in that Yellow Creek Park thing, they spent 200000 to a million on one wolf alone. Yeah. Didn't see a dime myself. I mean, I could have used that money to help with my cattle that year, but nah, didn't see any of it. And it's not like I can protect my cattle. Nah, you just move these suckers along, they come right back thinking they own the place. Nah, it's my name on those papers. I own that land. And if you try and shoot them, it's got those bloody activist groups whining and nagging about the protection of the species how it needs to be protected, it's endangered, they say. I see enough of them to know it's not endangered. It's my cattle that are going endangered though, yep. Losing so many of them. It just ain't right. But enough about those stupid wolves. I got cattle to feed. Thank you, Mildred. Now let's talk to Jenny, a local conservationist here in our area. So Jenny, what do you think about wolves? Wolves? Who wouldn't love wolves? Yes, they're a predator and can't differentiate between domesticated and wild animals. But that being said, we need to talk about the positive attributes that they bring to society. When you reintroduce a wolf into a dying ecosystem, that ecosystem thrives. The herd numbers are reduced, the vegetation regrows, and the amount of diseases that those herd animals carry are reduced. And now let's not forget that those diseases can be transmitted to humans. So in effect, wolves are keeping humans healthy. And let's look at the economic value of a wolf. And for example, Yellowstone. In the first year alone, Yellowstone produced $5 million of revenue, which was then returned to the government. Unfortunately, while wolves are so great for the ecosystem, the government doesn't exactly see it that way. Not two years ago, they removed legislation for the protection of the wolf and allowed for hunting again. 
This has resulted in an original count of 2 million of wolves to reduce down to a mere 4,000 today in North America. So in closing, there have been species that have gone extinct that had more numbers than the wolf. So that begs the question, is the wolf next? Thank you Jenny for that perspective. Now let's take some time to reflect. Now wolves are very smart creatures both mentally and emotionally. They can experience joy, sadness, guilt and even loneliness, but can also recognise locations and individuals. So shouldn't this mean that they are smart? And even if it doesn't mean they're smart, shouldn't these creatures get the recognition they deserve? Our society has grown to fear and even hate wolves based on lies that we have been told. We treat these animals as pests, vermin and things to be killed, yet we really know nothing about them. A pest is an animal that is common and negatively impacts humans, yet wolves are declining in numbers and have more positive impacts than negatives. So, I leave you this question. Who do you agree with today? Will you stand for the wolves or are they simply competition?